Hi guys, it's Razor Eye and right now we'll be completing the Battle of Yggdrasil. Solemn mission. Can we complete all 30 waves? Let's find out. To start the solo defense, you'll need a level requirement of 60 to 69. The difficulty is 1.4 and you have two chances per week and once per day so let's start this is more like defense of the Asians or Dota Ragnarok version you'll need to protect the tree of Yggdrasil from the incoming monsters As you can see, there are two buffs, Rejuvenate and Smite. You may choose to get it now or use it later. For me, since I don't need it yet, I'll just leave it there. The best position is in the center. So here's the first wave. Unfortunately, because of the auto attack, I accidentally got the Rejuvenate. So make sure that you position yourself properly. Once you use the buffs, you can see that there's a timer that would uh, give you random buffs. Just click the helmet icon and you'll see that you can summon Heroic Spirit Warriors. We have the Swordsman, Acolyte, and Mage. The current mana is 98, but we'll need 120 to summon them. As a hunter, I need to change arrows to make sure that I match the weakness of the monsters just like with any tower defense you'll have two towers the left and the right which will help you battle the monsters but be careful they have only two little HP so you need to protect them from the attack make sure that you choose your pet accordingly I think it's time now to summon a warrior I will summon a swordsman Swordsman can provoke the monsters so that they will not attack your tower or yourself. So these are like tanks. It's uh, wise to choose at least two or three swordsmen for your tower defense. You can also move forward to meet the enemy in the middle of the bridge. So you will notice that there are two bridges, one on the left and one on the right. The enemies can attack from the left or the right and as you move forward they will attack on the left and the right at the same time. change to holy arrows since these are undead warriors. I think it's time to summon another heroic spirit warrior. This time I choose a mage. Our mage can use cold bolt. a few mana more and I can summon an acolyte. As you can see there's a monster that targets only three roots. 
make sure that you kill it first. So we have summon an acolyte. An acolyte heals you and depending on the level of your acolyte, it can heal you a lot. The wild buff will give you a movement speed and attack speed of plus 50%. There's also a variable cooldown time of minus 50% for your skills. I've summoned another swordsman. You can only summon up to four characters at a time. So let's make sure to choose wisely and choose the proper combination. At this point, we have two swordsmen, one mage, and one acolyte. A Requiem has appeared with the chest on its back. Kill it to obtain lots of magic. This will boost your magic and mana so that you can summon or upgrade your characters. I saw Priori, so I need to get and use the buff right now. Get the shield and the smile. Good job. As your character has a high level, use him as a tank so that your mage and acolyte can heal you and do more damage. You also have the option to level up your swordsman, so we'll level up ours. Two of our swordsmen will have the same attributes, so that's really good. You will notice that our swordsman has a red hue on it, that signifies that they are more powerful than before. Be careful of these explosive bombs, they go for the root directly, so if there are too many, it's game over for you. Be careful. You will notice that the Heroic Swordsman is now level 2. Also, the mana needed to summon 1 increase from 120 to 250, so be careful. Your Heroic characters can also be killed, so make sure you protect them at all times and use your character as a tank. Make sure that you manually click on the monsters that are attacking the tower directly. Look at that. Let's kill them first. Our left defense tower is already at low HP with just a few hits. So you need to really protect your tower.
there is also a monster with invisibility so you need to watch out for it Okay, so they are ghosts. We need to kill these whispers. Next, I will level up my Heroic Mage. He is now able to cast Meteor Wizard and Fireball. Oh no! One of our towers has been destroyed. We need to be really protective of them. Great, we received a lot of mana. I will level up my Heroic Acolyte next. to tank the monsters first and if you're low on HP go back let the acolyte heal you let the swordsman provoke them and finish them off so I thought a swordsman has died so I'm trying to summon one but they're all still alive good job Just keep repeating the same technique and you should be good until the wave points on. At this point I'll try to save mana so that when your swordsman or any of your characters die you can summon them immediately. Again, save your buffs and use them wisely.
you can also click on the warp icon to teleport in the middle of your circle. Another tip, you can only summon or upgrade your warriors when you're inside the circle. one of the heroic summons will die, but good job. So let's upgrade our acolyte to give us a greater heal. Rotar Zyro can teleport directly to the tree root, so make sure that when you see that warning, protect your tree root immediately. At this point in time, I didn't know that they are already attacking Rotor Zyro while I am on the front of the battle command. So that's your tip right there. Unfortunately, another tower has been destroyed. This will be very hard for us. Rotar Zyro has attacked again, but I didn't know. I was just in front of the field again. So if they launch an attack at least two twice now, two in a row, so you really need to be careful of the prompts. Okay, so we still have four of our heroic characters. Make sure that you preserve them until the end. These bombs are the worst. Make sure that you finish them all quickly. At this point in time, I'm thinking if I'm gonna upgrade them or reserve the mana so that I can summon them just in case. Another Priori. I hate you. So our mage and swordsman died, so we need to replace them. I chose two swordsmen. It's good that our acolyte doesn't run out of mana. She has unlimited supply. Very good.
So these monsters go directly to the root. They don't attack you or anything. You need to make sure that you provoke them and kill them at once. Even the Rotarzario is making their offense. You really need to push it. And push it to the limit. Plus Ultra. Crunch time now, so you need to make sure that you avoid the attacks and keep yourself healthy. I'm getting all the buffs now. Let's get it on. Very good, two more waves and we'll finish this. We still have mana to spare just in case somebody dies. I think uh, I'll save it for the swordsman. My tip on this wave 29, meet them head on on the bridge. Make sure that they don't go within the circle. Unfortunately, our swordsmen were not able to provoke all of them, and they went past me through the roof. Uh, unfortunately, we lost. Uh, but there you have it, we have survived until wave 29. So I think the next step is to make sure that you provoke all the pouring bombs before they go to the roof. Good luck to you. And this is Eraser Eye signing out. Always remember to level up your playstyle. And see you next time. I will challenge this again and post it once I complete it. See you.